Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Falcon. Okay. Yeah. We got, we got the fist bump. Just as the game's beginning. There we go. Oh, missing the everything dino from the top left there. They both just landed next to each other. Nothing really happened. Big opening for Broly. Goes for the Falcon. Ah, uh, got him. Yeah. I was like, is he going for it? <laughs> wow. That's a very unique conversion. Not something that you see a lot of Falcons going for. The Falcon getting like that early yeah. on into a punish. But it seems I think that's one of those things where you check your opponent on their recovery, their recovery uh, habits. Yeah. It's like, are you going to stall? Or are you going to jump immediately? What are you doing? Double shine. Broly crouch canceled Fox down tilt there. I saw that. Yeah. Got him out of the situation. Playing the, very high up in the air. I was about to say, the amount of jumping that is going on in this match right yeah. now is giving me a lot of anxiety. Maybe it's scared of the lasers a little bit. Yeah. Well, Broly started off well, uh, camping the top left, but I think he gave in a little bit. Yeah. And then yeah. now he's playing a more aggressive ground yeah, game. all of a sudden Lord Ted up almost a whole stop. Yeah. yeah. I think he tried hunting for the up smash right there, the dash up smash. Oh. That's really scary when you see a Falcon double jumping this often versus the uh, Falcon. Yeah, Lord Ted had a really unsafe like landing backer there that Broloid definitely could have up smashed. This wasn't ready for it. Got that up smash though. Just a little bit too early to arrive there with that up air. Something you can do as Falcon against Fastballers is really milk the amount of time between hits in your combos. You don't need to just like get yeah, yeah, yeah. as fast as possible. Yeah. You can delay that up there by a long time. Yeah. Somebody had a really nice stream recently where it's like, just remember, you have a lot more hits than you think you do. Yeah. You don't need to make that decision that quickly. Exactly. Yeah. That's something you Living the hits then. More and more comfortable with as you gain experience. It's yeah. just like, and even like a lot of the time you can make your punishes longer by building that hits and yeah. waiting. Because if it brings the character closer to the ground, yeah. they start falling a bit before they're out of stuff. One thing I've tried to experiment against, with particularly versus Fox, is that idea where they're in a, they're in a hit stun and they might be mashing jumps, so you might want to clip them out of their oh, second yeah, yeah. jump. The jump stealer. Yeah, the jump stealer. Because I see it a lot in Japan because they're, uh, the, Cur the Kirby punishes up tilt, up tilt, up tilt to rock. Yeah. And sometimes they jump out of the, yeah. the up tilts and they'll get caught by the rock. Yeah, the other thing is it's it's really hard to DI without accidentally yeah. jumping if it hits the nuts. Such discipline is knowledge of how much stun you're in. Yeah. Alright. Broly switching to the Pikachu. The game will be I think this is a, I think it's a good idea. It's a good idea, especially for the kind of uh, like space he wants to play and jumping around like yeah, around yeah. the side and top platform. Yeah. It's definitely better with Pikachu. Lord Ted looking pretty comfortable so far though, just keeping Pikachu out. Yeah, I think the nerves are getting to him, he's yeah. missing the snaps. He was missing up smashes, he was getting like jump up air. That's a big opening though. Oh, oh that's scary. Yeah, I think, I think just, a drop uh, zone there. Like drop in area, exactly. Doesn't really need the double jump there. Bit of a dangerous up being Lord Ted not able to chase it down. Situation resets. And Broly's back on the top platform where he seems to feel comfortable just staying outside these box lasers. It's just how do you find the opening? Ooh, I love these tech chases. He had the dash attack. It seems oh, like Broly maybe them. doesn't know quite the right move to come in with or the angle to approach from to get around Fox's yeah. like giant get off me moves that he has. Fox has a lot of range, so it can be tough timing that approach. Yeah. Slowly walking across the stage after that. But also credit to Lord, he's just he's, he's playing well. Oh yeah. yeah. His his spacing is Decent. Yeah, yeah. Like it's because um, the the amount he's moving and he's not getting caught with strays is for sure is telling. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was gonna sneak in a jab right there. Another one right there. Okay, probably getting some going. Yeah, grab. It's a good yeah. idea, but uh, bad timing. Yeah, just a little bit early, yeah. and then the fox forder just blows right through him. Yeah, Lord Ted is playing the Pika matchup so well. Uh, he's really not like getting greedy on the punishes, just taking the damage he knows he can get and then backing off, and knowing like if I play safe neutral, it's so hard for you to get in. Yeah. 
if he if he just executes the game plan properly, which he's doing, it can be really difficult for Pikachu to land that meaningful hit. And also, Broly is getting things like these four dares, but just not going fast enough to get the follow up, and it turns into a situation that more ten wins. Yeah, that's the sweep. And right there, you see him just converting. Uh, this is that little gap between the four and the grab really was enough for Lord Ted to get an opening that he won the whole game off of. Very impressive uh, Fox yeah. play from Lord Ted. He's been looking really good in all of these three matches. Unfortunately, the, the Pikachu switch, what seemed like a good idea, definitely did not work out for Broly. Uh, Lord Ted was very ready for that. I don't think he got a single thing going 